Federico Ferrante here from uh, Azimut Yachts. Uh, we are aboard uh, our S7, uh, so uh, one of the four uh, models of our S collection. So just to quick reminder, S6, S7, S8 and S10. Let's start from uh, this cockpit, which is incredibly uh, rich and full of features. So going here towards the, the back, the transom, the aft of the boat, uh, you see what it looks like, and it is a sunbathing area, of course, with the foldable backrest. But this area right here is, is a concentrate of a smart and engineering solution when it comes to boating. So for instance, you have uh, an immense amount of storage, which is easily accessible uh, from uh, various areas that we're gonna go look. In, we're gonna go look, and uh, this is where you can store, as you can see, all your covers, your windows covers, product product cleaning, and so on and so forth. Now, one will say, why do you have access to this storage also from these uh, two compartment? And the reason is that these are specifically designed for these folding chairs that folds. Uh, in, uh, in a flat configuration and you can slide them in and out from those uh, uh, storage uh, uh, units without the need of uh, opening from the top. So those two pockets are designed to accommodate uh, uh, the chairs. Uh, moving on this side, um, you do have another axis of storage you know more flat and we'll see why that's that's under here is also the garage which uh, we'll go uh, look at take a look at later so but again storage space under this unit and then of course you have a main center area and any any access uh, of course doesn't require to remove or touch the cushions every storage locker you have seen opens and closes with the cushions on top and so this is another area where uh, uh, you know can be uh, used for storage so this entire area is sunbathing but offers the entire volume uh, is uh, uh, dedicated to storage in a very modular and uh, a fraction way so when you have to access us something not necessarily need to bother someone which is staying there if you have to open this hatch in the aftermost areas of course uh, we always uh, like to uh, talk about storage in this specific configuration they haven't used it but we created this pocket where the extra line which will be on your cleat can go on inside this storage locker which is designed to hold the lines nice and clean out of the cleat while uh, we are here and this we have this inspiration piece uh, this uh, give us uh, a message because this table not only is actually a piece of art but is made of uh, extremely light gray finished carbon fiber uh, which uh, tells us a story you have carbon fiber here you also have carbon fiber here exposed uh, we love carbon fiber who doesn't like the look of carbon fiber the entire superstructure and the garage door of the s7 is all uh, built in carbon fiber so we have components these uh, of course there is some weight saving but this is more a cool factor is more uh, a good looking table uh, versus uh, the, the, the structure of the boat as well as uh, heavy components like a garage door and so on so from being in carbon fiber they affect tremendously the performance uh, of the boat. Um, the way this table works, there is a, a very simple uh, locking system here. So what you do, you just move this back because it can accommodate eight people for a beautiful alfresco dining in a very simple way. You extract this leg, you take this part of the table. Again, I mean, I can have you feel the weight, but I can have you see the feeling. And here you go, you have a full eight people comfortable alfresco dining under the roof in the shade uh, with uh, basically to move when you're done and you don't want it all the way, all the way <clears throat> you just close your uh, legs or support brackets and under here and uh, once the boat is yours you will remember exactly where it is you have a mechanical lock is locked in place and you're done two seconds and uh, moving uh, on the starboard side of the cockpit we have uh, our uh, wet bar so beautiful surface in case you want to use it to serve food and have a, uh, you know a countertop available but uh, if you open it you have your hot water cold water sink and your barbecue underneath you have uh, your ice maker trash compartment ventilated ice maker so always 
Ventilation is very important to make sure that appliances have the air they need to perform. And uh, here, as you can see, very beautifully integrated. Uh, most likely, if you wouldn't see the handle, you wouldn't even think uh, that there is. Instead, is your cockpit refrigerator. Two drawers and uh, uh, ample capacity to serve immediately the cockpit. If you look at this as far as engineering and you see how balanced and beautiful is the integration of a ladder which will go to the flybridge, where, which of course we'll go through later. A wet bar, which when in function has this uh, kind of uh, feeling, but when it's closed, you almost disappeared. You have uh, this beautiful, again, gray carbon fiber uh, bar top, if you wish, and all integrated under uh, the shade of the cockpit for a, a very unique and outstanding uh, alfresco experience, I would say. The way this uh, has been uh, achieved is through doors, which are uh, fairly sophisticated when it comes to movement. And, uh, uh, you know, but they give uh, that kind of uh, feeling of once you move the, all the door away, it slides into this pocket with the one end, very simple, and it locks safely in position. You see, it's locked, nothing move. So you can do that also when you're at the anchor, if you have some rolling, uh, there is no problem. Now you are creating this uh, very open feeling uh, uh, concept where the interior communicates with the exterior, you can appreciate that we have no steps so from the transom you get into the cockpit and you're walking through this and all the way until the first step you encounter is the going down to the lower deck and so now you have a completely uh, flowing one environment and if the weather doesn't allow it's too hot or too cold of course you close the door and then you're creating a more traditional layout with the separation we are approaching the interior <clears throat> this is uh, we offer the this model the s7 in two um, decor, we call them, two look configuration. One is called Perlanera, black pearl, and the other one is called platino, platinum, which is this. Um, so this one has uh, two uh, wood, you have a brush oak, so a very 10% gloss finish, very materic uh, finishing to this wood, so you almost feel like you're touching a, a, a raw natural piece of wood. Uh, right next to 100% gloss mahogany. So again, the combination of uh, a very materic, a very wild, if you wish, uh, to the touch and to the look. Uh, so a very warm material with a very luxurious mahogany, 100% gloss, so something a little bit more sustained. And the combination of the two together, then in addition with the uh, beautiful, innovative uh, uh, materials and stainless steel trim, create this look Francesco Guida is the designer which designed the S7 interior. And while we talk about designers, Stefano Righini is the uh, iconic Atimo designer which designed the exteriors. And we'll, we'll look at some of his uh, signatures touch on the exterior as well. So while we are in here, we'll go through the features. As I said, I'll try to show you uh, maybe more behind the backstage. So this is, of course, is it would be your glass cabinet, your bar, I just open it so you can look at it better, but it was clear already. Of course, ILO, 55 inch uh, television. This uh, ILO has a switch right there, up and down arrows. When you wanna watch television, you bring it up, of course, but when you don't, it completely disappears, integrated in the back of the cabinet in order to uh, you know, leave as much as of this uh, natural light and beautiful view. Uh, possible and available in this uh, in this salon. Moving on the port side, this is a, a very interesting and sophisticated layout. First of all, I personally believe those are two pieces of art. If you look at the, the stainless steel base of these tables, they are uh, of course electric. They go up and down. They are extremely quiet. They are controlled by those two switches right there in the corner, and uh, they create uh, they, they allow you to create a very multifunctional area. Uh, if you, for instance, would put them in the, in the lower position, um, they have uh, a more a coffee table configuration. So you're lounging uh, now on, uh, on this sofa and you have the, you have, uh, uh, the table down and is more, in a, in a, as I said, in a coffee table configuration. And uh, you can put your feet on it, you're watching a movie, you put your pillow there. This is the perfect uh, position to be comfortable and relaxed on board. Uh, if you bring them up as they were before, you can uh, actually extend it. You know, they both open 
and uh, move and slide and uh, they become basically one large table similar concept of uh, of the table we have just seen in the cockpit but times two uh, for uh, dining inside eight people again in a comfortable configuration or you can leave one down and one up and uh, this can be uh, for instance uh, a morning breakfast nook table where uh, that uh, is uh, your coffee table configuration and this will be more always up so you can they're dynamic or you can take it uh, down as well they work in a very simple way so they slide for instance this uh, uh, if it would be in a coffee table configuration of course we would have uh, uh, slide it uh, forward in order to create uh, this more distance so again uh, the concept is extremely dynamic uh, they fold and open and uh, can create a very large dining table. One can be down, the other one can be up, they can both be down, so very versatile. is a, a very versatile way uh, of uh, configuring the salon through these tables. The entire area of the sofa is dedicated to uh, storage. We have uh, designed lamps in this particular uh, decor unit, so we paid an extremely high amount of attention to lighting in I would say in the last decade and specific, especially more in the last five years uh, so every mm, lamp is designed from the largest uh, for the largest Italian designer so you have Floss, you have Artemide uh, so those uh, uh, two pieces on that bucket right there is designed is part of the design lighting package as well um, this panel right here is part of the design, the, the lighting design package. So you see, there is uh, uh, there is not just lighting. If you look at boats from, uh, uh, you know, seven, six, seven, eight, ten years ago, lighting in, in 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 was this. This was lighting, spotlights all over the place, and that's it. There was no lighting design. Look only at this salon. You have a backlit uh, glass cabinet. You have design lamps uh, uh, as a piece of art uh, in a the corner there. You have a, a design light feature on the ceiling, a design lamp on the, on, the, on the cabinet here. So there is a lot of attention of details and design to make uh, the environment uh, more and more look like home. We want our customers to feel at home on their boats. So if we move uh, forward, we get uh, to the galley. This is an open galley concept. Uh, therefore, there's a lot of communication. This is a, a part of our sport uh, collection, the S uh, collection. So is uh, uh, you know address for maybe a little bit more, a little bit less formal uh, way of boating. So the galley is part of the salon, which is part of the cockpit. So you can you can tell here a nice large family of uh, friends uh, uh, that enjoy the space and they they all have a great time on board. Full galley, mille appliances as uh, always on our on our product plenty of storage as well so this is a very big and nice as i say i always like to show the depth so almost a foot uh, deep uh, drawer this is all uh, your cutlery again all our cutlery is uh, specifically made for azimuth yachts so every piece come with the boat and with the azimuth logo on it Focusing on storage in galley, you have these very convenient, these three very convenient pockets, if you wish, where miscellaneous galley stuff uh, can stay. Of course, you have uh, storage and, and trash under the sink, and you have uh, the uh, mini dishwasher as well. So, uh, no need to wash dishes. Uh, provided is also natural ventilation. So, through this uh, switch right here, you open this glass and uh, you have natural ventilation in case you're cooking something smelly. Uh, you can actually open this one on the port side, you open that one on the starboard side, you create airflow, and then imagine if you also open the roof, uh, which we'll talk about later, uh, then of course you have you know, all the airflow uh, that you need. Uh, this material right here, in Italian we call it quarzite. It's uh, a man-made uh, natural material and uh, the, it looks like marble uh, and as a matter of fact we call it statuario quarzite which comes from the statuario carrara marble the difference with marble though is that this doesn't absorb fluids so it cannot be affected by spillage of uh, citruses uh, orange lemon 
alcohol wine. So you have the same look of marble, but it's much more durable and resistant in terms of uh, absorbing uh, um, fluid. Um, this will be your in uh, helm electrical panel. So of course uh, uh, you have uh, uh, you know your uh, DC panel and your AC panel are separated, but these are the first uh, access, first control panel. Of course in the engine room you have uh, more for the main components, but these are the breakers and system that you wanna uh, control from here. Let's move to the helm. Very comfortable and uh, uh, generous. Uh, this is a Raymarine equipped uh, product, so our electronic packages are Raymarine. This specific unit that has the platinum package, so the best of our electronic package, which uh, uh, of course include also the what we call the monitoring system. So this is where uh, the owner or the captain can also control uh, several of the functions of the boat from uh, the alarms uh, for instance uh, from uh, bilge pumps we can turn on and off and they're pointed every green dot here shows where a bilge pump is located and from here you control them then distribution of power you can start and stop the generator here <clears throat> you can put the generator online and offline and you read your voltage and amperage drop of your either generator when the generator is the source or the short powers when uh, short power are the source. For instance, in this configuration, you can tell that we have one short power plugged on board, which is feeding both bars of the electrical system of the boat. If you would have a second short power, you will see obviously this side green, that bar closed, and uh, uh, you know each independent. This will be open, that closed, and each short power feed one of the two bars. When you have generator on, everything is connected uh, and powered to the generator. Navigation page, you have your tanks, uh, fresh water, grey water, fuel, control of the pumps, controls of the windshield wipers and navigation lights. Air conditioning is probably the most useful uh, because uh, until we started to integrate monitoring system in this way, uh, you were forced to basically go in every single area and uh, set the parameters of every single fan coil or area at least uh, uh, individually. Now you can do that by clicking on each one of this area, you select the area, you decide what you want to do in that area. Uh, but if you don't uh, want to bother with that, you just uh, synchronize maybe during the day where the same temperature is okay for everyone. Uh, you, you hit the one button and the entire boat, the entire conditioning system is set on the same temperature and on the same fan speed level, so uh, noise. Moving here, control station. Handles, everything provided by Volvo. So we buy from Volvo Penta, of course, the three engines in the engine room, uh, IPS the 1350, and uh, um, the levers, as well as the joystick. Uh, so it's a full package, all uh, provided by Volvo Penta, which is very important uh, in terms of uh, service, warranty, uh, distribution, parts. You have, uh, the customer will have only one reference point and one supplier for the entire uh, proportion package. Uh, joystick always located to the most uh, external uh, part of the helm uh, because you can actually use it and look where you are controlling and maneuvering the boat uh, from this side where you also have an electrically uh, operated openable window. We still provide uh, uh, bow thrusters on our IPS uh, configuration. Technically you don't need bow thruster on IPS and it's true. Uh, through joystick and uh, their maneuvering uh, features uh, you can do the same maneuvers that you would do using a bow thruster without. We still put bow thruster in because specifically here in the US as you can see we dock a lot through pilings and so when you want to do the finesse maneuver maybe is, is, uh, is a husband and wife and he's driving the boat and she's uh, uh, putting the line on a pole uh, with the bow thruster you can get to that finest point where you don't have any movement uh, of the boat and uh, so that's why in product of this level and range is worth it to, to also add the bow thruster uh, for that extra uh, comfort zone. So um, I think uh, we have covered the helm, but of course the, 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 the helm seat up and down, back and forth electrically adjustable, the co-pilot seat instead is fixed in position. Both 
bolster. All these seats are handmade, custom made, custom designed for Azimuth and for the S7. So this is not an off-the-shelf seat that you can buy in any, in any ship chamber. Uh, these are designed by Azimuth, manufactured one by one. Washer, perfect position, comfortable to open, close, transfer load, and uh, uh, operate them. Uh, that cabinet right there could be the perfect place uh, where uh, to put, uh, you know, the, the, the various uh, soap and softener and products uh, that the, the machine needs. You close them, it disappears, and you will never know you have a, basically a laundry set in this okay. area. Storage, uh, little shelf. This would be actually probably even a better, to be honest, position for uh, material which uh, you're going to use the soap and so on for the washing machine. Maybe you can leave them here, even though, I mean, you also have a refrigerator for night usage, so you might want to have some glasses here. So, but that again, you have storage on the bottom, refrigerator, storage shelf, storage shelf on top. So, uh, maximize usage of volume and space. Appreciate also the light work. This decoration panel is all backlit LED and gives this idea of a floating uh, beautiful panel to, to create space. Uh, heading to the master cabin, which is uh, uh, where we are right now. Full beam, so you can see that the, the bed is the furthest most away possible from the noisy area of the boat, if you wish, which would be the, the engine room. So you have uh, this entire block, which is, uh, we'll see, is a walk-in closet, shower, bathroom. Once you close this door, this entire block uh, create a complete separation from engine room and crew quarters. So granting the owner the most quiet, so it's the widest part of the boat, that's what we call full beam master cabin, is the widest part of the boat, but also the, the uh, comfortable and quiet because of this air pocket insulation uh, design, uh, positioning of bathroom showers and closet. Natural light, this is a natural light galore. So of course is the sport collection, so we have a little bit more of an aggressive look with these uh, six uh, uh, windows uh, uh, framed instead of being frameless because of that uh, cosmetic look that we want to give to the exterior but also create a, a more dynamic and sporty uh, design without penalizing the amount of natural light so uh, uh, again if you look at the amount of light and you think about being in the bahamas in sardinia in polynesia wherever uh, the Azimut Yacht uh, owner of an S7 would be and you are in your master cabin and now what you're looking at from, from, from these windows is paradise. I don't think there is a, a better place where to be. Very innovative, as you can imagine, is that we, we call this a, a TV totem, uh, designed to incorporate this uh, curve, of course, 15 inch uh, TV and made custom for uh, the purpose and creates this suspended uh, element, technological and uh, advanced, uh, but meanwhile elegant and design oriented with of course this LED profile which makes it look like it's kind of floating. Perfect visibility from, from the bed of course. And we'll see here uh, which uh, the S7 have this very unique uh, head bathroom configuration. Uh, we'll now go through a little bit about through um, actually storage and uh, again like a signature pieces of our uh, all our collection cross cross referenced a um, lot of storage under the bed so uh, under every single bed unless we need the space for technical purposes and typically on a smaller boat maybe you have a fresh water tank uh, in, a, in, a, in a 34 and a 40 footer but uh, anywhere else where uh, components can be in the bilge and they don't need the space uh, under the beds is the best place for suitcases and uh, large volume uh, towels, uh, sheet sets, uh, uh, covers, and so on and so forth. So uh, under the beds you have a lot of storage, you have, that's, that's of course a drawer. You have a drawer set here, which is actually pretty vol voluminous. And you can tell it's a four beans compartment. And I always like to say, you know, you're talking about almost a foot deep each and uh, so a lot of uh, storage for clothing here this unit right here is another immense amount of storage now three beans for that kind of uh, length right there and same depth as those so an incredible amount of storage there that area right there is uh, 
was a, a sort of a design inspiration from Francesco, Francesco Guida, uh, which uh, now in this case uh, they have uh, put this, this sphere, this decor sphere, but uh, you will see probably also on our website on the brochure, there were little plants. So it was an area to have a sort of a, a Zen garden, if you wish. So they're designed to put uh, decoration elements uh, which connect to the lights. Um, of course, mirror on both sides that even created that uh, feeling of depth that makes the cabin feel so big. And also here we are looking at uh, uh, design pieces. Uh, this is for instance, this is from Artemide and is called Mezza Chimera. Uh, those are Artemide as well uh, and they are called Tolomeo. So those uh, uh, lamps or those reading lamps that you see on top of the bed, those again are uh, design pieces. So if you go back talking about design, this is actually a very unique uh, solution in terms of design because we decided to do something uh, different, something innovative, which is uh, a sink outside, if you wish, of the bathroom, which we'll see later. So this is your sink area, of course, uh, with uh, storage, drawers, and uh, cabinetry um, throughout, um, natural stone countertop, uh, design uh, minimalistic uh, uh, faucets, ample mirror, beautiful top here uh, and uh, so it's outside of the bathroom in a way but of course it's behind this uh, television totem and uh, so created this new uh, configuration and look behind this bulkhead which uh, as you can see almost seems seamlessly flow in reality there is a pretty decent uh, surprise because it's a full walk-in closet actually i walk in so i show i, I give you an idea of the dimension you have a 90 degrees angle um, hanging bar, uh, one, two, three, four, five shelves, a bottom shelf on the bottom with a safe in the middle, a full length mirror, uh, if you need to see the way you look before going out, a set of four drawers and another three shelves here. So this is a, a pretty intense in terms of size for 70 feet uh, walk-in closet. Storage is uh, impressive and also cleverly hidden. For instance, this is a huge volume of storage, which uh, once closed, one wouldn't even think that uh, exists. The same for here, a lot of volume, um, you know, uh, and deep. Look at the amount of uh, uh, clothing or towels or you name it, uh, you can have here. Like this is not enough, now look here another storage volume and when you lift that panel you have uh, another storage level underneath the panel so you can divide eventual storage component and uh, of course uh, this is self-explanatory but you also have storage here so and again we just moved within uh, you know three feet in the bathroom and uh, look at the amount of volume of storage uh, available look at the amount of space and how can i move uh, freely. You have a rain shower as well as a telephone shower here and uh, this is a full residential size so I can move and take a, a shower without any impediment and all the comfort that I would have in a shower uh, at home. Uh, detail of the stainless steel for instance I like always to point out Azimut logo on the handle of the shower which means that uh, is a custom made piece for the S7 Azimut. This is not a piece that you buy off the shelf from any brand which makes them in thousands and therefore can keep the prices in certain ranges. This is custom made by small companies in Italy, handmade for the Azimut S7. Actually not for Azimut, for the Azimut S7. Moving forward, I think probably we do the VIP cabin first, which uh, again is uh, extremely voluminous and spacious. Uh, thank to our signature bow, uh, trapezoidal bow, uh, you know, you have the largest and uh, widest, actually, uh, separation bulkhead between uh, the collegial bulkhead and the VIP cabin. It gives this uh, uh, incredible amount of space in a 70 feet uh, forward cabin. Hanging lockers on both sides and uh, shelving. Every time you see this kind of uh, uh, pull out, for panels, it means that behind here there might be components 
valves, drainages, uh, maybe gray water, carbon black filters, components will require access. These panels are held in place either by male, female, a pin lock system or double side uh, 3M Velcro so they come off easy without the need of any tool so you just put your finger pull and you access the system or the components which are behind the panel uh, these are actually very beautiful they are ceramic so this handle again focus on design uh, this is a uh, ceramic handles uh, which are characteristic of the of the S7 in suite of course the VIP as an in-suite, same material layout of the master cabin. So we have stone um, countertop, storage, ample storage everywhere. And uh, we have storage here and storage here. So this uh, is uh, the amount of storage and also right here. So this you can see again in, in two feet now, look at the amount of storage that you have to make sure that you can leave on board everything you need shower uh, six feet uh, 75 kilos 170 pounds and change and i am absolutely super comfortable i don't have any limitation of movement telephone shower adjustable i can put it away uh, you know at my height and uh, uh, you know is, is really i don't have any discomfort i'm not in in in, in an rv environment i'm on a, on a yacht or nothing with yachts so the comfort level is uh, uh, i think we can go now to the other two quarters, which they share a head. So this bathroom right here served the double purpose of uh, serving this cabin with a direct access and a direct door, as well as this cabin with this door and also works as a day head. So if you have guests on board and friends uh, that not necessarily spend the night and they need to use the bathroom, this is gonna be the day head uh, used uh, during the day. So now the port cabin is a twin uh very comfortable wide mattresses um storage everywhere so we have uh, you know hanging uh, uh, hanging locker with shelves small and large as well as storage under uh, the beds which is vented so we want to make sure that uh, uh, whatever is under the bed also has as much airflow as possible and so you see that they are designed with vents uh, uh, in order to uh, guarantee airflow into the storage. And while we are at it, actually, all our mattresses uh, are uh, uh, Lympha is the brand and uh, is uh, the memory foam. So the top uh, quality mattresses uh, available for yachts on the market. Uh, they come standard with, uh, with Azimuth Yachts. As far as the storage, the same applies under the other bed where I'm sitting on. So. We will not go through it, but there is a storage under this bed as well. Uh, as we said, you can control, of course, the air conditioning from the main helm, but you don't have to. Every, every occupant of every cabin then, of course, has his own dedicated independent panel. So you will see this uh, domestic panel in every cabin, and each cabin can set its own air conditioning temperature and fan speed. Uh, so you can do either or. And these obviously prevail. This is actually a more versatile cabin so 70 feet is is a range where having four cabins layout is is, is challenging uh, there are many many boats in this range which are which are three cabins still so we wanted to provide instead four cabin and uh, through a very creative if you wish solution which is this l shape so it's sort of a bunk bed but much more comfortable first of all it's much easier to go up on this bed actually you know, I can show you where, you know, it's extremely easy. And once you're up, it's a fully comfortable bed uh, where an adult can sleep very comfortably. So it's not really a bunk bed with a ladder and stairs. It's very easy to go up and down. And the cabin, despite this configuration, perfect for kids, of course, but it's very large. So you have an ample amount of storage, hanging bar and shelves, and all that bottom is a shelf. Of course, you have a storage under uh, this bed so all this bed is storage but also once you are in here you have a lot of space you can dress get dressed and dress so is uh, is really a fourth cabin uh, of course is a little bit more uh, sporty if you wish than a little bit more formal uh, formal twin or a VIP but uh, it's a full fourth cabin so can allow you to take two extra uh, people cruising on on an S7 
So we covered the main and lower deck, so I think it's time to approach the flywheel. Actually, before moving there, I would like to notice, look at this beautiful piece of carbon fiber. We talk about the carbon fiber table, in that instance, uh, made in gray carbon fiber, and we'll see that there are different carbon fiber accents throughout the boat to always uh, remind uh, the owner, of course, of the beauty of the material, but also the fact that he has uh, purchased uh, the most technologic advanced uh, yacht on the market in this uh, segment. And so this, uh, look at this beautiful piece of stainless steel and carbon fiber frame. This is obviously a cosmetic aesthetic. It doesn't have a structural uh, function, but is a, is a design piece. So going uh, to the flybridge, uh, we saw it briefly uh, in the cockpit later. So integrated ladder, so very safe, sturdy handrail, but integrated into a polished uh, um, AZ uh, stainless steel. So uh, have also this uh, kind of a design look, if you wish. Very safe. Again, while well, we just mentioned carbon fiber, carbon fiber profiles here as well. Very safe approach to the flybridge. Handrail, so I leave the handrail here. I have immediately another handrail to grab here and another one here. Very wide, nice and safe steps to go uh, up to the flybridge. While you go this way, look at this piece of art. I, I, every time I've seen these uh, hundreds, literally hundreds of times, and every time I see this piece, I like to sit down and contemplate the beauty. It's, it's really, it looks like a, a spaceship, in between a spaceship and a Formula One uh, car race. And of course, uh, uh, the custom black painted domes, as well as mast and uh, FLIR uh, night vision camera and radar that makes it all flow like really this is uh, uh, aggressive and, and design oriented. And while I'm here, this is a, a very comfortable sunbathing areas, which of course have uh, storage underneath, immense amount of storage where you can put all your covers here. You have uh, a refrigerator, drawer refrigerator here for your drinks. So when you are on the flybridge, you actually can keep uh, beer and sodas or cans uh, here without the need to go necessarily downstairs for drink. You have a beautiful dinette, so once again, you might have a owner, wife, a significant other side by side driving the boat, and you can easily have three, four friends here in a very comfortable, relaxed environment. And again, you're driving, your wife is there, I'm here, my wife is here, we chit chat, we have a great time down the intercoastal waterways or anywhere else in the world you might be cruising. This is really, uh, this is what yachting is about, spend time with friends, family, have a good time outdoor. And this flybridge right here, uh, you have two, four, six people can be uh, very comfortably uh, located on a, on a flybridge on the S product. This layout also very cleverly convert into a sunbathing area. So again, Italian intelligence. So you have um, a cushion here. Uh, this panel slide in. This cushion feels there. That other cushion, you put it on top of this and this becomes a nice uh, sunbathing area. So now you have one and two sunbathing area, a two seating side by side driving. Then you put this back, cushion on top, cushion back in the storage, close the door and you're done. So the sunbathing area convert into a sofa with very simple mechanical gesture, nothing can uh, give you a problem. Of course, every, every, uh, the boat comes with uh, exterior covers. Uh, so every time you see these, uh, these uh, snaps, and these devices here are because uh, uh, we provide as a standard covers for all the exterior furniture and upholstery. And uh, you also have uh, a bimini top, uh, which uh, folds uh, right now. They have removed the fabric of the bimini top, but you see this arch structure right here. It opens manual. This uh, uh, line right here connect to those hooks right there at the aft of the flybridge and you have a shade through uh, a very sturdy stainless steel uh, bimini top with this umbrella fabric on top. Uh, the helm of the fabridge is very comprehensive as everything that the helm downstairs uh, has. So from your sea keeper control, joystick, levers, I don't think we want to spend too much time here. And actually I need to reprehend myself because I forgot when we were in the salon and main helm galley, I think I mentioned it uh, fairly quickly, I don't think we spend enough time on the electric roof. And from here, actually, we probably have a better idea because if you look at that black panel 
and those two stainless steel pieces right there, you can picture actually the framing. That roof completely slides open and uh, there is a shade, a curtain shade in the salon, which uh, actually can open and close independently from the roof. And so you open the shade, you open the roof, and then you have that big section completely open air. So I always like, uh, you know, uh, to say maybe not during the day, but at night when you have beautiful stars are glazing and the moon is full, like it was last night here in, uh, in Florida, and uh, you open the roof, you might have uh, an incredible view and experience uh, on board uh, your yacht. Uh, so I think we cover the flybridge, we can uh, approach the bow, side boarding gates, so this is uh, very convenient for the US market, uh, where typically we dock and we have a side uh, docks, um, unlike uh, the uh, European market where most likely, most of the time they dock turn in, and uh, in case that would be the case, uh, the boat comes with a gangway which is uh, electro-hydraulic and controlled by those two keypads right there. One controls the garage door, the other one the gangway. But in case of sideboarding, like more typical of the American markets, you would have uh, typically a, a ladder, a sideboarding ladder, and you have sideboarding gates on each side uh, already cut through. This is the, your docking station, cockpit docking station. Again, joystick from Volvo and uh, you have uh, uh, different features on the joystick itself. The joysticks are all the same. The one here, the one on the flybridge, and the one in um, uh, the main helm. Uh, this will be your sky hook. So once you press this button, the boat stays at the latitude and longitude crossing, as well as the bow heading. Uh, so it doesn't moves with a tolerance of two, three feet. Uh, you have joystick maneuvering. Uh, excuse me, cruising, which means that you use your joystick as uh, a rudder, basically. You're moving the pods uh, during navigation uh, through this feature. Uh, you have the high mode, which is uh, extra power from the docking mode. Docking mode is your docking, you use the joystick for docking, means that uh, has a limit of the RPMs uh, the engines can reach in, uh, in relation to your impressed movement. And then you have high maneuver in those instances where you have a strong current or strong wind or both, you can have uh, extra powerful uh, docking uh, features. So here you have your joystick, which again controls all your IPS um, pod drives, as well as your um, bow thruster, progressive bow thruster. So we said we were going to go to the bow. While we're passing through here, this is the access to the crew quarter, which we'll uh, go through in a little while. And uh, you can see how wide and comfortable is the walkthrough to the bow. Very sturdy handrail throughout. Um, AZ 1916 uh, electro polished stainless steel and here you arrive to uh, basically the fourth lounging area on the S7. Here you have uh, immense sunbathing area in the, in the front side of it and uh, uh, you know a comfortable C-shaped sofa with the shade and your coffee table again when you can enjoy uh, the weather, relax, and have a good conversation with friends and family. Uh, somebody can hang out in the sun, somebody can stay in the shade, and we all enjoy the same area, the same space. Of course, you have audio uh, system here. There's music, and that's the control, the fusion control. That black switch is the switch which control this bimini top to close and open. Uh, when you close it, you simply fold this uh, backrest so the bimini top falls into this pocket right here but also the backrest uh, during navigation high-speed navigation will not interfere with visibility when it's in a down position let's go down to the crew quarters two comfortable steps again handrail and actually this is uh, this is what we're passing by here this is a very interesting this is one of uh, Regini. Again, we, we discussed this is an exterior design by Stefano Regini, which actually is the same designer which, this, uh, which did this uh, 72 flybridge as well. And uh, one of uh, his uh, uh, genius touch, if you wish, was this what, we, what he called diamond cut. So you will notice that these windows are not on a flat surface. 
down on a slightly inclined surface to create an angle where they meet. Which, if you think about it, is exactly what the diamond cut is. When they cut diamond, they give them those uh, angle cut so the, the light reflects differently. And this is what, uh, if you see the, the, the S7 from more far away, you will appreciate uh, the details. And again, as you can imagine, it's much easier to build a boat with a flat windows than to create the right perfect angle that the designer wants. But this is the result instead if you follow. So the way down, very sturdy, comfortable handrail with actually no two tail. beds with the second bed will be instead of these storage units right here, do you have a second bed which actually fall down. Um, you do have, uh, this is uh, actually a table, you know, so for the crew to have uh, also a sort of a desk if they even have to do their notes. Uh, sometimes enough fuel readings uh, and maintenance log and the cruising log. They want to have a comfortable little table. So there's an area here where they can do their, uh, their homework, if you wish. Closet on that side, which is very easy, opens, uh, you know, with the shelves and uh, safe in this instance. Um, there is a storage under the bed, vacuum system also in the crew quarters. This is uh, obviously the bathroom area and uh, they have a separate uh, shower and uh, toilet compartment. Uh, so which is actually uh, very, very comfortable. I mean, uh, I can totally stand and move around freely uh, without any uh, limitation. Um, TV system, of course the TV swing. You have a, a bracket and uh, you unlock the bracket for weather protection. You don't want this to be a light piece of equipment and uh, you can watch his TV and rest. And then when you put it back, this uh, spring loader lock will make sure that it stays in place. And we are approaching our stern. Again, I always like to put a lot of attention on handrails, so always a safe. Uh, also to come out of the water. You might wonder what is this? This is the boarding ladder. You unhook this hatch, take it out, goes down in the water. When you come back on the boat, you want a nice safe handle on the deck to come back up. So this is the, the, the transom of the S7, of course. Uh, this door pivot this way, uh, creating a, a beach platform. Uh, obviously, we can't open it here at this dock, so I will open it as much as we can to show you, uh, but picture it that um, um, once it's open becomes uh, uh, basically uh, this entire surface that we will see uh, is enough, is wide and long enough to accommodate uh, two, up to three actually, chaise long, some bathing chaise long, and uh, uh, anyway, is a beautiful lounging uh, area that can be used to uh, you know, access the water and have uh, a good time in close contact uh, with the, uh, the water. The garage is actually designed to host two water toys. So you can have uh, a, a 13 and a half uh, feet tender and a Seedus Park, a jet ski, the compact jet ski next to it, uh, which uh, is actually pretty unique for this uh, size of boat. And uh, uh, you know, on one end, uh, they don't pollute if you wish, the exterior line of the boat. So once your toys are in the garage and this door is closed, your boat will always look as pretty as it has been designed without hanging uh, uh, weird uh, components on the transom. But also they are uh, always protected from the environment. They are, uh, once you rinse them off with fresh water and you put them in here, uh, they're gonna be protected. They are not exposed to the sun. The upholstery doesn't, doesn't get abused by the sun. And uh, so it's, it's a double purpose, cosmetic, but also technical to preserve uh, your toys. Uh, this tent obviously is intended uh, to make uh, uh, this area looks a little bit more pretty if you wish when imagine that the platform is down now your toys are in the water and you're, you're using a platform you have a couple of chairs on a chaise long you don't want to look into a garage which is more technical space you have a dedicated tent when you roll it down it actually has an azimuth yacht logo on it so it's a beautiful tight uh, tent which cover uh, the garage 
And uh, so I guess that here from the transom, we have completed our work through video on this uh, Azimut Yacht S7. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any question, please do not hesitate to contact us, uh, azimutyacht.com to locate your official dealer. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you.